Now, coming back home to talk about the um, MBBF President's Cup, it ended yesterday, and Rivers Hoopers were crowned the MBBF President's Cup champions after a resounding 97 to 57 points win over Raptors of Lagos in the final to book the only NBA FIBA Basketball League ticket. And Ikechuku Benjamin recorded 20 points, one assist, and three rebounds on the night that the team got everything right. And the duo of Anthony Koko and Solomon Ajigbe scored 15 points and 11 points apiece. I, I watched that game yesterday uh, at the National Stadium. And uh, yeah, good basketball was played, but publicity was also a major problem in that one. But apart from that, the very best of basketball was played, and reverse hoopers were deserved champions of uh, the tournament. Of course, uh, Coach Ogoro, I've always admired him, just the way he takes from the lessons he gets mm -hmm. from the national team assignment. And then whenever he comes back to the Kingsmen, it, it's always like a blowout. That's mm -hmm. what we saw in, in Lorin D, just like the, the Tigers, they never dropped a game. Mm -hmm. They never dropped any single time, any quarter. And the same sense of intensity. I'm just glad that the young men that he, he, um, he imported into his team, that's why they call them the national team, by the way, because they yeah. have the most nationalities or most um, geopolitical zones in that team. They have like almost like 12 different tribes in wow. that team. Yes. <laughs> so the boys he brought in, like Yahaya, uh, he was able to be the MVP of the tournament. True. He used to be in Kano Pillars for that matter. He's a journeyman and he has played in Lagos as well. But good one. I like the fact that water find the level as we would like to see. Water found its level. You saw Raptors stepping up to the plate. They did the same thing in Ilori. I didn't expect them to do any blowout. Yeah. In fact, when I saw this guy, I was just like, dude, not even think I'm. Finals will be Raptors versus, you know. And mm. of course, finals is going to be these guys that win it. Mm. I like the fact that consistency is still the meat of the of the, um, of the, of the teams. The this teams so far. Exactly, and I'm looking forward to representing Nigeria in that one. Body coach Ogo Odaudu said the team is preparing for the great feat ahead of them, while Abdul Yahaya, who backed the Most Valuable Player Award, expressed his joy on emerging the tournament's best player. We also got comments from the coach of the losing side talking about uh, the Raptors of Lagos, as in the person of Charles Ibeziako. I call him Coach Charlie. Mm. Let's listen to them, and when we come back, we'll still be talking about basketball. Going to uh, a long was not all that hard, although it was a long journey. And I know I'm going to make it to final eight. But coming to Lagos is a harder one. Why is it a harder one? Because the people that really, really qualify for that final eight are big teams. When they talk about Niger Pora, when they talk about the Falcons, when they talk about all these things. This is the first time Raptors coming to league, first time in ever. And they made it to final eight. Not only they made it to final eight, Make it to final. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. I, I give kudos to these boys. They are not failures. They are the champions. Today I call them champions. Why? It's not easy. You talk about the caliber of uh, Falcons. Come on, man. We beat Falcons. You talk about the caliber of uh, Porters. Then we beat Porters. You talk about the army people. We beat them. For us to get to that final, it was, it was, it was hard. And we play hard. It's a great feeling. The trophy alone is enough to make me have sweet dreams tonight. We have been working real hard the whole year. We have been working real hard the whole year and uh, this is the result. I am very, very happy right now. Apart from the fact that we just won, we have also qualified to represent Nigeria in the first ever NBA Africa League. So it's a, it's a really wonderful experience for us and we are very happy. It's going to be a very big competition. The NBA is involved. There's going to be American players involved too. So we don't want to go anymore and participate just the way we've been doing. We want to go and compete. So we're going to work towards having a very strong team and eventually having a very, very good season. So I won't lie to you, I'm going to party tonight because it's not easy to be the MVP. It's not easy to be among the five best players and it's not easy for the whole team to pick the championship. It's just one ticket and we're the only ones. So we just need to do something. We need to party. We need to shake up some things, you know, out of us. Um, it's the President's Cup. Uh, it represents our, um, for this year, uh, the, uh, the most elite um, competition that we have in the country. And as you can see, I'm quite happy that the standard of uh, play of our players, I think, is very, very um, well matured enough uh, to represent us at the uh, Basketball African League uh, between, uh, this, uh, being held between uh, FIBA and uh, the NBA. Um, in this year's uh, in this year's tournament, so I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy, truly, with the uh, with the outcome of uh, of, uh, of this competition.
I like the I like the energy and the excitement, the unbridled joy. I like seeing when athletes work hard, uh, been following them up over the from past year. They have not had opportunities to get to play, mm. and then they got to represent Nigeria for the um, um, FIBA kind of things that they yeah. had to do. That they had to sleep. Mm -hmm. On the way, I think around Sukoto where they were mm -hmm. crossing border. And now it's a good way to end the year. MVP, you have titles, mm -hmm. even if the money is not plenty. Because apparently I'm hearing that for the President's Cup, the winner gets to go home with just under a million. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the girls are getting three million, which we're complaining about. And then the boys have to collect under a million. Mm -hmm. And then you then see the publicity like we're talking about. I mean, when we're seeing the Zenith Women Basketball League, okay, yes, it has a sponsor. Yeah. But the full stadium, the full Full rough everywhere was full, and mm -hmm. there was a lot of you know music and pomp and pageantry. I know they were playing at the same time as the FIBA qualifiers for the girls or the Olympic qualifiers for the girls. So maybe some people were busy watching stuff. Mm. But then again, consider the fact that no publicity major one was done. Yeah. And look at Super Four just two weeks ago at Agege. It was massive. You saw. They use that old school kind of publicity that you, you <laughs> enter motor, carry megaphone and be like, combo, buy one, get it. one free. Mm. Kind of, but, then, yeah. <laughs> but I wish that they would take these guys. They are doing their job. They are mm. doing what they're supposed to do. So maybe the publicity is a little bit distracted. Yeah. They could do better. They would do that. better. Of course, well, we spoke to the president of the MBBF, uh, Musa Kida, and he also gave reasons why the league was on hold for some time. Uh, but he is actually happy for this to happen and they plan to do more, talking about his board, uh, Musakida. Let's listen to let's listen to him. You know um, what has been the problem uh, is that we are not able to create the enabling environment for our players really to show their potential. Um, since I took over two years ago, my pledge to basketball of Nigeria is that our players will be our biggest clients, and for me, their interests come first. The first two years have been a bit um, a bit checkered, I would say. I'm checkered in the sense that we could not um, continue the league, the, uh, the Premier League, the way we would have wanted to do it, and we had a lot of distractions on that. Um, so the, I would confess that most uh, of the distractions did not come from us. Um, even if we had the good intention to want to host, um, there was quite, quite, quite some reasons why we could not do it the way we wanted. But this year, as you can see, the President's League or the President's Cup has been excellent. It has been, um, I would say, very well attended. You can see the quality of play. You can see the quality of presentation also. It's like it's never been had in the country. So I'm quite happy that we are finally there. And I'm sure we have taken steps to move forward and we're not going to move backwards at all. Of course, are the president saying they're taking steps to move forward and not move backwards at all. President Kida, I'm happy for the President's Cup and they look forward to doing more. Oh yes, that's all we're about. Let's see you work and let's observe and do what we have to do to support your movement. Mm. That's all we want. That's all we want. Well, that's much you can take today on Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. I hope you enjoyed the package. I'm Udoka and Joko. Do enjoy the rest of your day.